You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I'm on a new project here. I get to make paper with this paper recycling workshop. It's from Easy Crafts, a wow toys. Mold paper into your favorite shapes. Make recycling paper fun and easy. All right, well, we'll see about that, won't we? Hopefully it's fun and easy. She looks happy there. It says, uh, kit includes blender, mesh, and decorative shape molds. Create your own cards and ornaments. Uh, let me see the other side before I go to the back. Kind of a repeat there. All right. So the back says, paper recycling workshop. Why should we recycle? I'll zoom into that text there. So you can pause and enlarge that if you want to read that. I'll read the first paragraph, though. It says, recycling or making new things from recycled ones is cheaper, uses less energy, and uses less of the Earth's valuable natural resources, thereby helping the environment. Very cool. And in the paragraph below that, says, practicing all three of these activities every day is not only important for a healthy environment, but it can also be fun. All right, well, that's what we want to find out. I think it'll be fun, because I like doing things like this. So let's see what we have in the box here. And that's the only thing we can do next. All right, so there's some pieces there. There's a piece there and some instructions. You can move the box off to the side. All right. So I won't take it out of the plastic just yet. I'll see what we need, because it looks like I'm gonna need some stuff. It says the manual blender, okay. The, the manual blender, that's it. Mesh frame, that looks like it's in here, in three different shaped molds, okay? Called decals. Extra items you will need, this is what you're gonna need. Plastic sheets to protect tables, plastic basin tub large enough to totally immerse mesh frame at least two inches deep, hand towels, plenty of scrap paper, construction paper, newspaper, ripped up egg cartons, two sponges, a rolling pin, water, and vegetable scrap for coloring paper or food color. Hmm. Sounds cool. So putting the unit together, all right, we'll have to do that, making the pulp. Well, at least we can get it together and see all the parts. Then I'm going to have to come back, let's see here, and do the rest. All right, so there's a handle. Here's our three shaped molds. There is the heart, there's the circle, and there's the star. And this is our mesh tray. See it? It has a mesh on it. Very fine. There's two little notches here. And it looks like these either sit on there. Yeah, we'll find that out, but I'm jumping ahead. But it looks like that sits on there so you can mold your paper shape. Let's take, at the, let's take a look at this uh, tool here. It's the blender. Now it looks like there's a paddle in there. There's the paddle. What does it say about putting that together? Uh, install the blade by inserting it into the center pole at the bottom. You'll see there's a pole there, and it looks like it just sits right on there. All right. And then it says, after closing the cover, lock it by twisting the cover clockwise. Now, if you see, there's a stopper here for the pourer, and that looks like it's just going to go there or close to it. See how this lines up here? You want that to line up, drop down, and then lock it just in place, and that stops things from coming out. There you go. Pretty cool. So I guess the only thing I can do now is gather all the supplies I'm going to need to actually make the paper and then go to the next step. So making the pulp is the next step. Let's get to that. So now we're on step two. That is making the pulp. It says, tear up the paper into bits and soak it in warm water for at least several hours. The longer it soaks, the better. So I'll have to keep checking back. But I want to show you the process. It says, you may leave it to soak overnight. So I have a bowl here with warm water. And then tore up a bunch of paper already. It was just scrap paper just laying around the house. Some of it had stuff drawn on it already. Just been ripping it into little pieces. Didn't really give you an exact size. Just kind of throwing that in there and going for it. And look, ripped a bunch already. All different colors of craft paper and other paper. Let me get some green in there. So, just had some scrap laying around. Okay. Put more in there. Just going to let this soak now. And then it's going to break up. 
hopefully cool paper is going to come out of it. So I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to check back, maybe clean up a little bit here. And then every time I check back, we'll just see the progress of the paper. All right, I'm checking in. It's been about an hour and a half. I would say there is, uh, it's just getting like a thicker, heavier feeling to it. It's soaking up the water better. But I don't think we're, you know, we're there yet. So it's going to take more time. Just wanted to keep you updated, check in as time goes on, and see how this changes. We're at about four hours in time, and some of the paper you can tell is really soft, like this white paper. It rips really easy and comes apart real easy. And then some of the craft paper is also soft, but some you can feel it's just a little harder. This stuff's really soft. So I'm just going to let it go longer and then uh, continue the process after this sits. So we'll check back. All right, so I'm checking back in. Now, it hasn't been a full 24 hours. It was overnight, and this is what we ended up with. Now, it's not as soft as I thought it would be. The white paper, again, is really soft, but my craft paper is not. So I'm going to let that sit a little longer. So what I did was I took some chopped up newspaper, because I knew that would get soft faster. So I did that. That's ready to go. So the next step is to actually make the pulp. Now, what I need to do is get my blender in here. Now, the blender... Let me see here. Of course, you see that this just goes right in there. It doesn't lock in or anything. And there's two lines on the side. Hard to see in the camera, but there's a max line and a minimum line. And it says to fill halfway with water. So we're going to do that right now and fill this halfway with water. Now I can see the two lines, so I'm just going to go halfway between the minimum and the maximum, which is about halfway in the blender. Then it says, uh, take a handful of the soaked paper and put it in a blender and blend for several minutes until it looks like thick soup. So I'm going to take a handful and stick that in there. Can get a little more. And I'm going to add some of my color paper anyway, just because, I don't know, looks pretty colorful. And then I'm going to blend this. Now your table and your tabletop are going to get wet, so be prepared for that. I'm going to put this on. Remember, see that lock in there? Locks in the place. So now we're set. I'm going to turn it this way because it's easier for me to spin it with my right hand. So I'm just going to keep going until I get a soupy like consistency, a thick soup. So we'll check in in a second here and see. Doesn't give you a speed either. It doesn't say go really fast or really slow. But it is coming out. I can see that. So let's just take a quick look at it. They go this way. It's easier with my left and right hand here. So right now, let me just show you. It does not look like a soup yet. So let me do it again. Keep going. There we go. Pretty neat, huh? Now, I'm not worried about my tabletop because it wipes right off. So a little water, okay. Let's see. Okay, it is looking a little better. A little soupier in there. Let's do it a little longer. Let me just give you that side shot because it is pretty cool seeing the paddle going in there. There we go. I think we're good. Well, we're good to get going on the next step here. So let me wipe this up, get the train here, and go to the next step. Okay, I'm all set to go. I have my soupy slurry ready. Probably not as sloopy as it could be. Maybe I could have added more paper. It says a handful. Don't know if that's a kid's handful or an adult handful, but we'll just run with what we have. So the next step for making the paper, this is what we're following now. It says pour the water into the tray. So let's do that. So it's about half to three quarters full, but we just need enough to cover 
our uh, screen, so we'll do that. And then it says uh, you can try adding bits of leaves or dried flowers and other colorings if you want, but we're not going to do that. So here we go. Uh, swirl the mixture. Okay, so pour water into bowl. Add two or three handful, handfuls of the paper pulp. I think what I'm going to do so I can keep my hands dry is just pour it in here. Because I still have to work the camera. I'm just going to pour my mixture in. There you go. So this is my first attempt here. Looks pretty good. Probably could have mixed it up a little more, but here we go. So now it says just put it in there, and you're kind of getting the paper to go on top and fill up that screen. Not bad. Stick some on there, help it out. I see what they're saying now. Kind of see it starting to fill that screen. So I just keep moving it around. More's coming up to the top now. Let's get it in there. Get it in there. All right. And then when I pull it up now, ooh, that was a good one. See that? There you go. Now it's going to need to, ooh, one spot. Just fill in one spot right here. There you go. Okay, nice. Now I see what they're saying. Looks nice there. A little there. Fill it up. Okay. Remember, it's my first attempt. So now you just want this to drain off. Okay. It's my first shape. So now what I need to do is, it said scoop the paper pulp onto the deco, which I did. Hold the frame, okay. Lift the frame straight up, did that. So now we're on to the next step. I gotta flip my instructions. So carefully remove the deco, all right. Carefully remove the deco. Ooh. Okay, now I see there is a shape there. And then it says, cover the mesh frame with a hand towel. So let me slide this over here. Cover with a hand towel. And then flip it over, okay. Let's do that. All right, so that's flipped over. Now it says take a sponge. Okay, yes, ooh, press down on the mesh with a sponge. Now I have another cloth here. I don't have a sponge handy. So I'm gonna do that. Till it peels off. So what you're basically doing is soaking up the excess water and it's not wanting to come off my screen yet. I'll just keep pressing until it starts to peel. Looks like it's getting there. So I'm kind of pushing and pulling away the screen at the same time. There we go. Now you see. There we go. There's our heart. We have a heart shape. So it says to press out the excess moisture, cover the pulp Cover the paper pulp with another cloth and use a rolling pin to flatten. So I'll take the cloth I had and then let me get my trusty rolling pin. Now the rolling pin doesn't come with it, the tray doesn't come with it, so. Let's take a look at it. Nice, a little bit more. I wonder if we can get another shape in here. So let's try it one more time. So I'm gonna, now it says just remove the top cloth and let dry undisturbed for at least 24 hours. So I'm gonna move that one off to the side. Okay. And bring this back in. Now we kind of have a better understanding of what to do here. So let's get it in. Let's get another shape. How about we do the circle shape? All right. Not as much pulp left over paper, so it just says, remember, put it on top, move it around. Starts to fill up. See, it's starting to fill up really nice. It's a good hands-on project, that's for sure. Look at that. So if you have leaves and other stuff, I guess you could just place them around your paper. There you go. That looks nice. So I'm going to let that dry. All right. Drip off. See all the excess water dripping off? Now stick it back on the hand towel. Okay, so cover it. Ooh, actually, take this off first. There you go. Stick it in there. Now cover it. Flip it over. Okay. A lot of excess on this one on the outside, but that's okay. So take my towel again. Said use a sponge, but you know, didn't have one handy. Do 
you're just pressing the excess water off and you can kind of tell like on the first one where it started to come away see right there it's starting to come away you can see it's a little lighter here a little darker and I just pressed my way through it and then it came off there's my circle now let me just cover it I noticed there's a little break in there so I'm just gonna cover it up there didn't say you can't do that and then roll it out All right, peel it off and now let it sit. So there's my two shapes. Let me get the other one in here and then I'm going to let them sit now for a full 24 hours and see exactly what they look like. There you go. So we'll check back in 24 hours after these dry. It's been 24 hours. I'm sure you're excited. That is what we started with, the paper recycling workshop and we ended up with two shaped pieces of paper, a circle and a heart. So what I first did was I took them and I just trimmed them to make them more pronounced. Now what I'm saying is I have some off to the side that I already did because I used the extra pulp to make more paper so I can practice practice with. So this is what I did. I cleaned up my circle. Okay. Now you could do a little better job or cut it into another shape if you want. And then my heart. I have some like I said that I started already. And then I just, once I got the shape of the heart I wanted, I just kept trimming until I had it exactly the way I wanted it, because you can come in now and change the shape and make it more heart shape just by how you trim it. See that? So let me move this out of the way. But this is what we started with and it's easy to paint because I decided to go with just a regular craft paint. I have two here off to the side. Here was my heart. See, I have an LPS heart and that's all I did. Took my paintbrush, here my LPS, and then I just pre-coated the paper. Now the pencils, here let me just show you. Get this one in here and the crayons. You can actually do that. Covers real nice on this. Oop. Gotta be careful. Rushing, I'm rushing. See? Okay, so you can do other things. Let me show you one of the, uh, this is a light color. Get a dark color in here. So just a lighter color with the crayons if you want to do something a little different like that. And the pens, I mean uh, the pencils. So what am I going to do? Well, I have some colors here, some silver. I'm just going to put some little silver circles on my, and you could do whatever you want, of course. The, the artistic part, that's up to you. Now, I'm not too artistic. But, get the idea. And then on the purple one, it's going to be hard, but we could take a pink in here. And we can do another LPS like that, see? Oh, that's a runny pink. Let me switch it to my... Let me switch it to orange. L. Ooh, that one's a little better. Might need two coats. P. Okay. And then let me do the silver on this. S. Always hard to do S's, isn't it? So there you go. So the decorating is up to you. But at least you could see now, we got something that you could actually use and give away. So there you go. That is the Easy Crafts Paper Recycling Workshop. I'm going to say it was a success, it was fun, made a lot more paper, and thanks for watching, it's really appreciated. If you're looking for this item, check in the description. If you want to see more WOW toys, look in the description for a playlist or search our channel. Later! If you want to see more videos in this series, check the description, search the channel, or click here. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up!